That's Max. why I still understand Max. where Antonio listen, Brown's I'm, coming I'm, I'm, from. I'm, but all, and there's a lot of players, and I know this too. This is all money and good money sometimes too. All right, that's an old domino saying. So listen, if you don't like the the money is one thing. That thing with that quarterback was huge. That thing with that head coach, that general manager, he played it the way he wanted to play it, but. If you don't have your respect and you don't have your trust, I'll get my money somewhere else. If I didn't have respect or trust well, in a certain organization in New England, I possibly might have wanted out too. Teddy, Teddy, you're not the only one that's annoyed. I'm annoyed, and I'm annoyed it's taken me this long to get to you, Max, because the point that I wanted to get to you and I want you to respond to this, Max, it's very important to me that you respond to this. It's very, very simple. You're bringing up stuff about Antonio Brown's money. That's not the issue. Because yesterday's press conference, he already had his money. So the point that I'm trying to make to you is we have to get back to the character issue that we're alluding to. For example, you're sitting here talking. Listen, we're debating. We're on a debate show, what have you. People have differences, all right? I got differences with you. You have differences with me from time to time. Hell, but guess what? We roll out there together. We're one. And somebody, I can get on Max. I can get on Molly, but if somebody else tries to, it's going to be a problem because we're a part of this family. We're on the same team. So I can sit up there and have and be annoyed with you all day, every day. Somebody else try to come at you, it's going to be a problem. So when you say, okay, Antonio Brown, it's about his money and it's the job of the organization to incentivize you to perform after you get that money and to do what's in the best interest of the franchise, I am making the argument that when you know you didn't necessarily do that, be the team player that Teddy alluded to with the way you exited Pittsburgh, once you're gone and you signed on a dotted line and you know you have your money, you as a human being can't make the concerted effort to sort of clean that stuff up for people who have a livelihood to consider as well, meaning a Mike Tomlin? You can't well, do that? I, well, I would say this. What, when did he force his way out, in fact? I'm not pretending he was a choir boy. Like, you know, I, th I was on him when he's putting on social media that. the moment when Tomlin's saying, no, stay off that. social media. Oh, yeah, that's the a problem. Facebook live but what I'm saying is the guaranteed money is up. If you're a franchise who wants to keep a dude like that happy, especially a dude like that, who you're thinking, well, that may be, like, more important to him than to some – then What's either you here, guarantee him more money or you can expect those kind of problems. And is he going to come out and say that no, in a press no, conference? No, 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 Max. No, 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 yeah, what I'm saying, Max, is now that you signed on the dotted line and you know you have your money, there right? are things that you did in an effort to get the money. So now that you got it, could you not clean it up a little bit? For mm -hmm. others that you may have affected I think that's a fair when point. you know your objective all alone was your money as opposed to their behavior? You couldn't do that? that? I think that's a fair point. That's what I'm saying. He behaved Teddy, less than me? optimally. Yeah, let me ask you this. And, and, Teddy, I'll come to you. Do you think he's going to be a distraction moving forward? Do you think he can really change now that he's in a new environment? It's inevitable. It's inevitable that this, the distraction will happen. He'll be late for a meeting. Something will happen. All right? What, what, what I was always keen to in New England when we brought somebody else in from another organization that had a history was there is no judgment once you walk through the door, okay? Everything you did was in the past, and so let's just develop a relationship and become a teammate. Now, when the first time it happens again, that's when you got to have a conversation. I hope the leaders in the, in the Raiders locker room know that. He but becomes Teddy. late. He becomes late for a meeting. It's like, oh, okay, okay, hold up, hold up, Antonio. Uh, the uh, the accountability you're talking accountability you're talking about. Let's talk immediately. That's when it has to happen. Right now, you got a clean slate, man. Let's go. Let's play some football. Let's get together. Let's work out. But Teddy. All that stuff with Derek Carr. But after that, now you got to start holding him accountable. And if I was Antonio Brown, but, 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 I'd stop talking about all the accountability stuff and focus on leading by example first. Just do that. Teddy, did you, what did you think about what I said to Max? That's where I'm trying to get the answer to. What did you think about I what I had to say about I agree. To Max it's all of, said. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. It's all said and done. You got your money, man. You should be reflective to like, yeah, my bad over there. I shouldn't have done that. Especially that week 17 thing. The week <laughs> yeah. 17. That, that, that's inexcusable to a high percentage of players. Most players, most coaches, everything's on the line. Darkest hour, Mike Tomlin, and you're not there. 
Do you take, take any accountability for that? You know what? I could have handled that better. That's Teddy, all I think his that's people had to tell him to say, to say that once. That would have been the sound bite. You know what? Yes, I could have handled some things better. Moving I, on. Teddy, that's I think all. it's a but fair still point get that, that. that Stephen A. made. I think it's a fair point you're making. What about this, though, as it relates to Antonio Brown on the Raiders? No one's perfect. And you're right, sure, hold him accountable if he's late to a meeting. But what about the on-the-field work ethic, the fact, you know, at practice, the fact that he's going to outwork everybody? In other words, in certain respects, he'll be less than a perfect role model or teammate. In other respects, he'll be the best they've ever seen. Like, doesn't the good get weighed with the bad? It's not like, you are bad at this, therefore bad Antonio Brown. Just, yo, we're going to hold you accountable right here. But, wow, he's a great role model in these other respects. What's the, what's the message John Gruden is telling them in those meetings every day? I'm not there. I don't know. I can only assume that he's still got that old school accountability, be on time, those type of things that he wants to establish, to establish, to establish a winning culture when it's not followed, the first thing that's going to happen is this. The players are going to turn their heads, look over to Coach Gruden and say, and look at him, that, all right, what are you going to do? Are you going to do something first? Because you first, then me, we'll tag team him that way, and we'll get it all done through that. That's how we'll get it handled. But it does, if it doesn't come from the head coach first and you continue yeah. to enable behavior that it is possible, like I said, inevitable, that he, it's possibly he can come late for a meeting and he can do some of the things he did in Pittsburgh. Now you're going to have the same situation over again because me, why as a player am I going to try to police this guy when you, Mr. Gr John Gruden, or Mr. Gruden, as Antonio said in his press conference, talk the talk, but there's your player that you wanted and you loved, but you're not, mm -hmm. you, you're not policing this yourself. Yeah. So it's All on right. coach too.